Hey YouTube, Gallagher123123 here with a fun unboxing video for you all. It is Friday, September 22nd, 2023, and of course we all know what that means. It's new iPhone day. And I'm very excited to have in front of me the box for an iPhone 15 Pro Max. So I'll just go ahead and give a quick tour around the box visually to make sure. Okay, it does say iPhone there. Of course, three years ago, we did an unboxing of the iPhone 12. So I'm very excited to try out some of the new innovations technically between the 13, 14, and 15. So we'll see what that entails. Okay, I think that's everything we need to be aware of there. I did remove this already from the shipping carton just to make this process a little bit faster but let's go ahead and open this very curious to see what this looks like this is my first both pro iphone and pro max as well so we'll see Some tape here that i need to get off other oh, oh it didn't come off very evenly okay and there should be one on this side as well. Okay. And let's see if we're missing any more. Yes, it looks like we might be. Yep, there's some up here too. Let's try and get these off. Apple does package these well, and that's very good. We want that. So let's see. Okay, I'm gonna put the phone down for a second so I can use two hands here to see what's going on. All right, so we have got, finally, that bit of tape was a bit stubborn, but we have it now. So let's go ahead and lift the top off of this box. This is one of my favorite parts of unboxing an Apple product. Okay, finally, we have lifted it up and let's take a look at what we have. Right on top, we do have the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Wow, this doesn't feel as big as I thought it would, actually. Quite nice. And we have our three cameras on the back. And of course, on the right side, we have the usual sleep-wake button. On the left, we have our standard volume keys, of course. But we also have something new, the action button. And I'm very excited to have a play with that. And we'll do that at some point during the video. Okay, let me peel off this. Ooh, look at that screen. Get that screen protector material off of it. And there it is. I got the black 256 gigabyte model. And we also, have, on the bottom, have a USB-C port, so we finally moved away from Lightning. Okay, let's see what else is in this box. Oh, we have a very nice-looking braided USB-C cable. I think this is only USB 2 speeds, but yes, it is a USB-C to USB-C. So that's very nice. We have that here in the box, and it's braided as well. So it feels like it's a nicer material than what is usually shipped with the iPhone. I'll leave that off to the side. And then we also have the documentation. And that is everything as far as I can see. All right. Now, I already unboxed this accessory, but I'm going to set it up now. I did get an OtterBox Symmetry MagSafe compatible case for this beautiful new iPhone because I insist on having everything protected. So I'm going to go ahead and install this case and then we will get to the setup. So I'm going to Go ahead and just do this real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have put on the case 
and it was very straightforward. So I'll just get a view around the phone now that this case is on. And I'm going to actually give you a brief comparison now with my iPhone 12, which I have here. So iPhone 12 is on the left, iPhone 15 Pro Max on the right. And I'm starting to really like this bigger screen size. I think this is actually going to be quite nice. All right. And one of my big reasons for going with the Pro model this time around is I wanted to have LiDAR because Apple is doing some really cool stuff with it, particularly things in iOS 17 like point and speak. And of course, previously they added door detection and all that cool stuff. And I haven't been able to try these features. So I'm excited to give them a go. All right, let's lay these on top of each other real quick to get a size comparison there. Beautiful. All right, now it's the moment we've all been waiting for. Let's power up for the first time. I'll go ahead and press and hold the side button here. Beautiful, we have some juice in it and the Apple logo has appeared. Now I believe we can turn on a power on sound. So that will be great. Okay, and we have booted. So I'm going to turn on voiceover by triple clicking the side button. Let's see what these speakers sound Alert. like. Alert, voiceover gestures. Whoa, that sounds good. To go home, slide one finger up from the bottom bit. edge until you feel the first vibration and lift your finger. To use the app switcher, slide up farther from the bottom until you feel a second vibration and lift your finger. If you move too far to the left or right, a rumble vibration will indicate the gesture was cancelled. To use control center, slide one finger down from the top edge until you feel the first vibration and lift your finger. To use notification center, slide down farther from the top until you feel a second vibration and lift your finger. Okay, so the standard help text for getting started i'll split right okay button double tap dynamic island empty oh i forgot Actions available i forgot we have the dynamic island here i completely forgot about that of course that was introduced with last year's iphone 14 pro line but this year it's extended to the full 15 range okay let's swipe up from the bottom okay and set up we will start the setup process. So I imagine first we're going to want to pick our language. 88% battery power, not charging, status bar item. Okay, 88%. Swipe down with three fingers so I'll just to explore by touch. English button. To find English, double tap. Select your country or region. Heading, United States. Select button. United States. Okay. And... Choose the size of text and icons on appearance. Choose default, adjustable, continue. Okay, I'll save this on default. Quick start, heading, in progress. Looking for nearby devices. Bring your current iPhone or iPad near this iPhone to sign in and set up. Okay, we will if do. If your other iPhone or iPad doesn't show options for setting up this iPhone, make sure it's running iOS 11 or later and has Bluetooth turned on. Okay. You can also set up this iPhone manually. Okay, I'm going to grab my iPhone 12, and we will go through this setup. Okay, let's unlock it. Safari. Now, I do ha I do know this speech is a little bit fast, but I want to keep it so that this is transferred over. Okay, I'm not seeing any pop-ups yet on my... Oh, there it goes. Okay, set up new iPhone. Okay, it says that we can use our Apple ID to set up an iPhone for myself or child in the family. So I'll say continue, double tap. Screen in. Waiting for other iPhones. Okay, I'm gonna have to put my phone down. Actually, maybe not. Let's see. Let's see if I can just do this. Okay, there we go. I just kind of held the phone close enough that it could be seen by the 12. Okay, I want us to continue on the other iPhone. Oh, and I see it already adapted. It looks like the voiceover settings. 
That's pretty cool. Okay, yes, I want to use the same Apple ID. So I'll say set up for me. Okay, we want to pick up the 15 now. So let's see what we want have to do here. Your account is protected by the passcode of your other iPhone. Your passcode is encrypted and cannot be read by Apple. After you enter this passcode, it will also become the passcode for this iPhone. Enter passcode of your other iPhone. Your passcode. Secure text field. Is editing. Zero and four values entered. Word mode. Okay, so I'll put it in the passcode. Okay, this is nice. I don't think it previously imported voiceover settings during the setup. So I apologize now if this speech is a bit fast. Um, I'll see in a minute if I can adjust it. That's actually really nice. I remember in the past that your voiceover Choose settings... Wi-Fi network. Heading. Oh, interesting. I thought, I thought Wi-Fi was handled by... The other phone. Okay, let's see. Alpha base, secure network, apartment 300, then needs friends for Charlie Net, secure, Charlie Net 5, secure network, signal strength 3 and 3 bars. Okay, I'll select this Connecting. one. Charlie Net 5, back button. Okay, well, it didn't ask for a password, so it probably has the password already. Okay, that's fine. Now, let me see if I can slow the speech down a bit. I'm just going to put the t other phone down so I can do that. Characters, language, headings, containers, hints, off, sounds, on, volume, speaking rate, 70%, 65%, software update, heading. Okay, I was able to slow it down, and we're on a software update screen. Important, update your software now if you want to transfer your data directly from another iPhone. You can update later if you plan to download from iCloud or set up your iPhone as a new device. Update now, button. Okay, so it's making us do this. Update later, button. Or it's prompting us to install an update. Update now, software update, Let's software update, heading, English, line separator. Okay, it's license agreement. I'll put my finger at the bottom. Toolbar, agree, button. And I'll agree. Downloading software update, heading. Okay, and now we are downloading. Progress, 2%. Downloading software update, heading. I'm really liking this phone so far. It seems very snappy. So we'll let this download. Progress, 43%. Okay, this is moving pretty quickly. Now, one wrinkle I'm going to have to deal with before I can really get started with this iPhone is setting up the Visible app and getting my Visible eSIM, because I use Visible as my carrier. But once that is done, it should be pretty easy to get that set up, and I will be up and running. So let's see. Progress. Seven. Downloading software update. Progress. Seven. Downloading software update. Okay, I'm having a bit of a focus issue right now where voiceover is not letting me read the progress. Progress. Bar. 77%. Okay, there it goes. Let me see if there's anything we need to do on the iPhone 12 while we wait. Let's see. Close. Button. Enjoy with iPhone. Heading. Close. When you're ready, come back to the iPhone. Ready. Trade in. Sold. Or give it away. Well, I'm actually not doing any of those things. It says to come back to, if we want to get this iPhone ready to be sold, traded, and, or given away, which Screen dim. I'm not going to be doing that. I'm actually going to use this iPhone 12 as a beta testing device. At least that's my intention. Okay, so I'll just dismiss this. Safari. Okay, and now we can just wait for things to happen. Excited, too, to see what the battery life is going to be like here, because... Downloading software update. Heading. We are using a Pro Max. Progress. 77%. Come on. Come on now. <laughs> Downloading software update. Progress. 78%. Okay, it's moving again. Downloading software update. Heading. And then we shall see how this goes. Be interesting to see too <laughs> how long it takes me to remember that this iPhone uses USB-C now. <laughs> I would not be at all surprised if I keep trying to screen dim plug in a lightning cable to this. <laughs> I guess we'll soon find out though. I do have a USB-C cable here handy if we need it. But I don't think we will. Actually, as a matter of fact, I have a lightning cable here, too. So if anything dies, I have cords. I'll 
All right. Progress, 78%. This is slow. Downloading software update, heading. All right, let's put this stuff down for a minute and I'll let this finish downloading and I'll come back when it's ready to be installed. Alert, verify update, oh. installing software update, heading. Okay, I just, put, I just put the phone down and now it says verifying update. So we are about to be installing and hopefully this won't take too long so we can continue the setup process. Okay, so yep, it is installing. I'd love to see voiceover get, um, be able to interact with this. It'd be very handy if we were able to do that. To get some progress updates as we go through this. Okay, I'll continue to monitor this and I'll be back when it finishes. Okay, so it did reboot and it's starting another phase of this update here. Wow, that rebooted very quickly. 11.49 a.m. Okay, Status bar item. so here we are, we're back. Let's see what we need to do now. Button. Appearance. Heading. Okay, we have appearance. Choose the size of text and icons on iPhone. I thought we did this. Default. Adjustable. Continue. Button. Okay. Quick start. Heading. Quick start. In progress. Hmm? This is odd. <laughs> Bring your current iPhone or iPad near this iPhone to sign in and set up. Looking for nearby device in progress. It wants me to do this again. That's kind of odd. All right, well, I'll do it. But that seems kind of quirky. All right, so I've unlocked my 12. Continue. I'll continue. And... Screened in. Connecting. It's trying to... Waiting for other iPhone. iPhone. Heading. Heading. Try and see if we can do this again with as much ease as we did the first time. I'm not sure why it's asking me to... to pair again. Because we did this. Um, and this time I'm having a bit more trouble getting it to... Recognize. Hold on. Position this image in the frame of your other iPhone. Oh, position. Okay. Let's adjust myself here. That looks positioned, right? Um. This is a weird. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put my 10R down, which is what I'm filming with, and see if I can align this better. Okay, so this is still giving me a bit of trouble, so we're going to authenticate manually. Okay, let's see what that is. Enter the code below on your other eyes. Two, zero, six, three, five, seven. Two, zero, six, six. Ah. Two zero. Enter the code below. Two zero six three five seven. Three five seven. Ah! I did it wrong. Hold on. Two zero. Enter the code below. Two zero six three five seven. Two zero six three eight five seven. Getting ready. Heading. Okay. Whew. I don't know what is going on here. Let's see. Close button. Okay, so again, I'll say that I want to set up this for me. Okay, and we have to do this passcode again. Enter passcode of your other iPhone. Heading. Personal data use. Data and privacy. This icon appears when an Apple feature asks to use your personal information. Okay, now we're on the data and privacy setup screens. Apple collects this information. Apple deletes private. Continue. Button. Okay, I'll say continue. continue. 
Now let's see how we proceed. Face ID, heading. Okay, we're ready for face ID. iPhone can recognize the unique three-dimensional features of your face to unlock automatically. Use Apple Pay, make purchases, or subscribe to services from Apple. About face ID and privacy, button. Okay. Continue. I will continue, because I love face ID. How to set up face ID, heading. And it's going to describe how we do this. First, position your face in the camera frame. Then move your head in a circle to show all the angles of your face. So we have to position ourselves in the frame. Now, VoiceOver provides excellent feedback when going through this process. Get started. Button. So I am going to have to put the iPhone XR down, I think, so I can do this effectively. But I will let you hear how this sounds. Get started. Dim. Position your face within the frame. Mm. Head position correctly. Starting first scan. Move your 38% completed. 50%, 88%, 100 completed. They've got some new sounds. Use face ID with a mask. Heading. Face ID is most accurate when it's set up for full face recognition only. To use face ID while wearing a mask, iPhone can recognize the unique features around the eye area to authenticate. Okay, so it's bringing up a setup screen about where using face ID with a mask. We're not going to do that in this case. About face ID and use face ID with a mask. You won't need to wear a mask during setup. Button. Don't use face ID with a mask. You can set up later in settings. Button. And we'll say not to do that. So let's. Don't use face ID with a mask. You can set up later in settings. Is there a second scan? Face ID is now set up. Heading. Oh wow. I always remember there being two scans. But it looks like now it's a single scan, at least on the 15 Pro Max. Don't use Face ID with a mask. You can continue. Button. Okay, let's continue. Continue. Alert. Face ID and voiceover. Okay, and we have this prompt about using Face ID with voiceover. Face ID has been set up to verify your identity, but not require that you look at iPhone to authenticate. This can be changed in Face ID and passcode settings. Okay, and it just tells us that you don't have to be like giving Face it attention. Face ID has been set up to verify your identity, but not require that you look at iPhone to authenticate. This. Okay. Button. Set up. Download from iCloud. Transfer your data. Heading. You can download your data from your temporary iCloud storage or transfer directly from your other iPhone. Download from iCloud. You can start using your iPhone in about 15 minutes. Your data will download later over Wi-Fi. Okay, so we can download data. Transfer from iPhone. Transfer directly so this iPhone will be ready with your data when you finish setting up. Time to transfer. 25. 35 minutes. Okay, we're going to do download the iCloud. iCloud. You can start using your setup in progress. So let's see what happens here. Colin Gallagher. Terms and conditions. Heading. Please read these agreement. Yes. Collective okay, toolbar. I'll agree. say Button. that I agree. Colin Gallagher. Signing in. Ellipsis. Oh, I like this. That seems to be a new graphic for signing in. Okay. Colin Gallagher. Signing in. Ellipsis. I'll let this sign me in. Come on. Anything on the 12 I have to worry about? Let's see. Okay. We will do that. Again, I'm not sure why I was asked to kind of re-authenticate and do the whole position, the iPhone and the frame thing. So that was a bit odd. Signing in, ellipsis. Okay, this still says it's signing us in. I'm not sure, of course, with this being iPhone 15 launch day, if Apple servers are having a hard time or what, but we will see. It is pretty early here. It's about 11, almost noon, I think, at the time of recording. This showed up at my door nice and early this time. Unlike when I got the 12 three years ago when it didn't come to like 5.30. I'm so very happy about the timeline this time. But I wish this would finish up and sign me in. That would help. Signing in. Ellipsis. Colin Gallagher. Signing in. Ellipsis. Oh, our internet's not down. Doesn't look like it. We do sometimes have outages, so that can be a pain. Okay, I'm going to let this do its thing and I'll be back. All right, so we're now on a prompt that says, make this your new iPhone. Let's see what we have here. Here's everything set up as you had it on your other iPhone. Learn more, but apps and data, iCloud backup, collapse. Okay. Settings, Siri, screen, apps and data, iCloud backup, apps and data, iCloud backup, expanded. Now I'm gonna expand this to see what's here. Collins iPhone 12, updating iCloud backup. Okay, so it's updating this backup. Okay, I just had to dismiss a prompt, do it on the 12 as well, um, saying that a device was added to my account. So I was okay that, because that's fine. Okay, so it's updating the iCloud backup now, so that's good. Let's see what else we have here. Settings, Siri, screen time, and more, collapse. Yep, I'll let those be the same. Eight items, collapsed. 
Okay, wallet, this might be a bit of a pain, but we'll see. Connections, Cohen's Apple Watch, collapse. Okay, yep, I do want my Apple Watch. Looks like they've redesigned this a little bit with iOS 17, actually. Button. Set up, location services, heading. Okay, now it says on my 12, let's see. Okay, it's telling us to stay connected to power and internet so that the backup can be completed and that this phone will have the latest data on it. Location services allows maps and other apps and services like FindMind to gather and use data indicating your approximate location. About location services, enable location services, enable location okay, services. Enable location. So now we're being asked about our Apple Pay cards. Security code, text field. Okay, so I just went and I actually said I'd add the cards later because <laughs> I don't remember the details off the top of my head right now and don't feel like looking them up. So let's go ahead and continue through. iPhone is ready to help in an emergency. Press and hold for emergency SOS. Press and hold the side button and either volume button to make an emergency call. Okay, there's some stuff about emergency SOS. Crash detection. If iPhone detects a severe car crash, it will automatically try to call emergency services. Oh, I forgot we have car crash detection that was added with the iPhone 14. I also have that on my Series 8 Apple Watch. In select countries, emergency SOS via satellite. When available, iPhone can try to text emergency services via satellite if it can't connect to cellular. And we do have the satellite features, that's right, also part of iPhone 14. Safety features may share your location when your device calls or you text emergency services. Your emergency contacts may also then be contacted and noted. Personal data use. Continue. Button. Okay, we'll just continue restore from this. Heading. Progress. Zero percent. And now we're starting the iCloud restore. Time remaining. Estimating. And this might take a while. So. Progress. Zero percent. Yeah, it hasn't started yet. So I will let this run. And I'll be back. Okay, it's so just a bit of an update. It took a little bit for this to start really 89%, moving. 91%, but 93%. it's flying now. So we'll just stick around here. And oh, it just shut down. Okay, I must be getting ready to reboot. And we are probably, hopefully, almost done with setup. Okay, it's bringing the like firmware update style. Progress bar up. Probably as it applies some settings. Battery battery full. Full. Oh, <laughs> there go all my battery shortcuts that I have set up that announce battery information. Something I've been meaning to do a video on for ages, so maybe I'll get to it in the coming weeks. That'd be a good one. Okay, give this a second to fully finish booting, and we'll see what we get. Very excited to have a look at a few things, particularly the action button. We'll have a play with that. And then I may temporarily end the video, activate my cellular plan on this, and then we can go ahead and maybe do a 5G speed test to see if there's any differences. And I'll, I'll give this some time to get settled. So, let's see how we go here. All right, come on. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, oh, my Apple Watch is going a bit crazy. Okay, let me just unlock this. Set up. Apps and data will continue downloading in the back. Restore completed. Heading. Okay, let me take care of the watch for a second. Okay, it's asking if I want to pair it. Now I use the name of my 12. Okay. Okay, let me put in my... Ah, stop vibrating so much. It's too strong. Okay. <laughs> okay, so now the watch is being paired with the 15. All right, let's see. Apps and data will continue downloading in the background. Okay, so it says our apps will continue to download in the background. Continue. Button. So let's continue. say continue. Set up. Silent mode. Heading. You can toggle silent mode on and off or check its status in control center. Continue. Button. Okay, so it's giving us some tips now. You can silent mode. Back button. Silent mode. And silent mode. You can toggle silent. Continue. Button. Let's continue. say continue. Back button. What's this? Action button. Okay, so now it's going to tell us a bit about the action button. Let's see what's here. Press and hold to turn silent mode on and off. You can also customize action button to open camera, turn on flashlight, or access a favorite iPhone feature. All right, so we can do a lot with this action button. We'll take a look at that now once we get out of this. Customize button. Not now. Button. Okay, we'll do that after. Let's just say not now. Welcome to now. iPhone. Swipe up to get started. All right. Welcome to iPhone. Swipe up to get started. That's what I like to hear. Let's do that. Safari. Alert. Set up cellular. Set up alert. Use this iPhone when sharing your location. You are currently using Colin's iPhone 12 to share your location and find my messages. 
Okay, so it's asking about sharing location. Not now. Button. Use. Button. I'll use this instead. Alert. Set up cellular. Set up an eSIM for this iPhone to use your phone number and connect to cellular. Not now. Button. And I'll skip this for now because I'll need to get the visible app installed. Safari. But here we are. We're on the home screen. Find this apps folder. Books and reading material folder. Seven apps. Now, Camera. all of these are installing and my Apple Watch is also syncing. Photos. With this. Entertainment, finance, food folder, games folder, helpful utilities folder. But all my folders seem folder, intact. Weather, productivity, shopping folder, social folder, travel folder, settings, two new classical, waiting. Search, page one of three, adjustable, page two of three. And all these. Home. Stream, Google Home, waiting. Pods connect. That's a shortcut that I put there. My noise, waiting, BT scan, waiting, voice stream reader, Bard mobile, wait, Google Maps, numbers. Oh, I did install pages and numbers and all those. So I'll need to. Um, iMovie, GarageBand. Remove these. Clips, Ulysses, waiting. Because I don't really feel a need for them. Search, page 2 of 3. Okay. Batteries, Cohen's iPhone 12, 80% charged. Cohen's Apple Watch, 17% charged. And there's and there's my batteries widget. Music, Mozart's Final Symphonies. Music. New York Philharmonic at play, button, find my, image. Search, page 3, dot, phone. And some of these are still loading as well. Safari. Okay, let's have a quick look at the action button and then... I'm going to go set up a few more things, and I'll come back with a brief update once I've done that. So if I press and hold this button on the side now, again, that's right above the volume up key. So if I press and hold it... Silent rainbow. What? Rainbow. Rainbow. Silent mode. Okay, so it's confirming that we're in silent mode. That's good. Social folder, eight now apps. if I just press it. Silent mode. Oh. oh, okay, so telling us the status when I do that, it looks like. Silent mode. Okay, that's what's that's what it's doing. But if I press and hold. Silent ring mode. Now we're in ring mode. So in that way, it does behave just like the physical switch did. Now let's see where we go in settings to have a play with this. Classical, waiting, settings, two new item. Alert. Uh, Cancel button. Secure text. Enter the password for the exchange account primary. Secure text. Not right now. Cancel button. Not worrying about mail accounts right now. I'll fix those up. After. Oh, come on. Okay, settings is being a little difficult. Settings, Let's see. Safari. Safari. Blind this app. Classical. Waiting. Settings. Two new items. Settings. Why can't I? What? Dynamic island. Dynamic island. Empty. Okay, dynamic island is empty. Settings, okay, let's... App Dynamic Island, empty, expand. Activate default. Okay, I'm having some weird focus issues. Oh my goodness, I forgot about the always-on display, too. Wow, that is weird. But I actually kind of like that. <laughs> um, all right. Okay, face ID was very quick. Safari. Classical, waiting, settings, two new items. Settings, get help, set up cellular, one update available. Okay, there we go now. Add AppleCare, there are 61 days left to add coverage for accidental damage. Okay, so we could still add AppleCare, which I did not do yet. Airplane mode, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, cellular, but notifications, button. Let's just go through settings here. Sounds and focus, screen time, general, control center, action button, display and brightness. Action oh, button. right there, there's action button. Let's have a look. Silent mode. Switch between silent and ring for calls and alerts. Switch between silent, silent, silent mode, adjustable, focus. Silent mode. Silent mode. So by default, it's set to silent mode, but we can also focus. Pick a focus. Camera. Camera. Flashlight. Flashlight. Voice memo. Voice memo. Magnifier. Magnifier. Shortcut. Shortcut. Accessibility. Accessibility. No action. No action. Accessibility. Shortcut. Magnifier. Voice memo. Flashlight. Camera. Focus. Let's try a few of these. Camera. Flashlight. So right now we have it on flashlight. So if I press and hold. I'll press and hold again. And we do get a haptic, but it does feel like the same haptic for each. But that's cool. I like that. And you don't have to hold it down very long. Camera. So you could do camera. Open the camera app to capture a moment. Camera. Oh, photo. Button. Photo. Button. Oh, we could specify it looks like what mode the camera opens to. That is really cool. Open the camera app to camera. Open the camera app to capture a moment. Photo. Button. Open camera. Camera. Adjustable. Focus. We could do focus. focus. 
Turn focus on to silence notifications. Do not disturb. Button. Okay, so I, if I press on double tap on this. Drive, dismiss context menu. Record. Driving. Button. Relaxing. Convention. Reading. Recording. Sleep. Button. Selected. Word. Button. Selected. Do not disturb. Button. I'll leave it on do not disturb. Settings. Back button. Turn focus on to silence notifications and filter out distractions. Do not disturb. Button. And now that's how this button is functioning. So I press and hold. Now, you do not get feedback when this happens, so let's go to Control Center. Control Center. Airplane mode. Switch. Focus. Button. Timer. Button. Okay, so it, my focus is now off. But if I press and hold... Selected. Focus. Do not disturb. Button. I really like that. <laughs> I just wish we could do multiple functions, because as much as I like it doing a focus, there might be some other things that might tempt me. Screen mirroring button. But let's see. Dark mode. Switch button. I actually want to turn off dark mode as well because I tend to prefer light mode. Screen mirror. Flashlight. Flashlight. Switch button. Announce notifications. Button. Low power mode. Button. Dark mode. Switch code scanner. Okay. Apple TV remote. Music record. Screen record. Calculator. Alarm. Adjustable. Timer. Button. I'm trying to see there it should be silent mode as well. I believe. Uh, airplane mode. Switch in this button. control uh, center. So let me see where that is. Wi-Fi. Bluetooth. Airplay audio. Media controls. Previous track. Dick play. Next track. Lock rotation. Switch button. Mute. Switch button. Off. And we can do it right there. Brightness, 33%. Volume, 31%. Adjustable. So that's good. Selected. Focus. Do not. Timer. Button. Adjustable. So, very cool. All right. So. Setting. Settings. Two new items. My iPhone 15 is mostly set up, but we do need to let some apps transfer and download. But once that happens and I get a few more things situated, I'll come back and give some updates on what I'm finding so far. Okay. So, I'll be back. All right, so I've been playing with this for a few hours, had to take a break from it for a while to do something else. All of my apps and data have transferred, and I finally got my visible eSIM activated. So now the real fun can begin. Now I've done a few speed tests, and I'm not noticing a huge difference in cellular performance, but then I feel that Verizon's coverage, which is what visible is based on, isn't the best near where I am. I mean, it's still really good and I'm getting full signal, but I do find it a bit slow sometimes. But why not? Let's do a quick speed test. Okay, Face ID is very fast. By the way. PM. Safari. I don't know if it's any faster, but there's something about it. It just feels very fast. And what I'll do right now is just tell Siri to Open speed test. All now, right. Button. Menu button. Let me just make sure we're connected to the cellular network. Eighty percent battery power. Not sure. LTE. Yep. Cellular. Four to four bars. Signal strength. Okay, so we're on LTE, so we're not getting five G here, but we do have LTE. Go button. So let's go ahead and begin a test. Go. Starting ping test. An illustration of a guidal ping result. Forty-four milliseconds. Ten milliseconds jitter. Testing download and illustration of a curved blue line and numbers against the black background. Okay, we're testing the download speed. Let's see what we get here. Download result 5.07 megabits per second. Yeah, I'm not so impressed by that center. actually. That almost seems worse. Testing upload and illustration of a curved blue line. Worse to me than what I was getting with the um, 12 on visible. Upload result 12.2 megabits per second. Upload ping result 460 milliseconds, 85 milliseconds jitter. Test complete. Okay, that's done. Go, let's, let's try one more. Go. Starting ping test. All right. And illustration of a curved gray idle ping result 41 milliseconds, 5 milliseconds jitter. Testing download and illustration of a curved gray line against a black background. Download result 5.21 megabits per second. Download ping result 2262 milliseconds, 110 milliseconds jitter. Testing upload and illustration of a curved gray line against a black background. Upload result 12.0 megabits per second. Upload ping result 416 milliseconds, 78 milliseconds jitter. Test complete. Go button. Okay, so they're both done and we have our results there. Yeah, I'm saying a bit slow. Maybe Visible's network is a bit more congested right now when we're being deprioritized. I'm not sure, but it's working, and that's what matters to me. Now let's just do one on Wi-Fi to see wi -Fi not connect on. if there's a difference with the Wi-Fi chip. Go button. 
Okay, let's go ahead and we'll start now. this test. Starting ping test. And I'm hoping this is better. A gray number on black back idle ping result. 14 milliseconds, 2 milliseconds jitter. Okay, Testing download. It's definitely gray number on black background. I can tell visually this is shooting up quite a bit higher than visible was. Download result, 223 megabits per second. Oh, Download yeah. Download result, 25 milliseconds, 12 <laughs> milliseconds jitter. Testing upload, a gray number on black background. Upload result, 11.1 megabits per second. Upload ping result, 93 milliseconds, 31 milliseconds jitter. Test complete. All right, well, there we go. Yeah. So, Home. I'm very happy to have my iPhone 15 Pro Max all set up. And I won't give too much of my thoughts right now because I'm still kind of playing with it and getting a sense of things, but I'll mention a few things I do like. Um, I love that we're using USB-C now. Absolutely love it. It's so easy to just plug in the right cord and for it to just work. I also am liking playing with the action button. Although I am a little disappointed that Apple didn't give us some more customization there. It'd be nice if we could do things like double press or just press it to do something. But it is what it is. I mean, I'd like more too, but you know, hopefully Apple will improve on it with future software. And that's the thing, this can be fixed with software. I'm also so far very impressed with the speed of the phone itself not thinking about cellular speed necessarily but like doing things with the phone but i haven't had too much time to test it because after i stopped recording that was about 12 15 or so i let the phone finish downloading all of my apps and then i had to step away to do a few things and i came back to everything being ready to go and so I've signed into a few things, fixed my email, and did a few tests. And that leads us to where we are now. It's about 3.50 in the afternoon on iPhone launch day. So that is kind of an unboxing setup first look at the iPhone 15 Pro Max. My first impressions are really positive. I love this phone. And I'm looking forward to really putting it through its paces over the next week or so. And, you know, if there's interest, I'm happy to come back and do some more videos on, on it. Actually, I would like to do a full walkthrough of the action button. So if that interests you, please let me know. But other than that, I think that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this. I know I really enjoyed, there's something magical about doing an unboxing. So I hope you enjoyed this and I enjoyed bringing it to you. All right, well, that's it for this one. Stay tuned. More exciting content is coming. You won't want to miss it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please give the video a like. Subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified about upcoming videos. Follow me on Twitter at Gallagher123123. You can also find me on Mastodon at Gallagher123123 at dragonscave.space. Thank you again for watching. We will see you in an upcoming video.